Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have another game delay announcement to go over, and we had an interesting switch up on the Famitsu cells coming out of Japan this week. We have those topics and more to cover, but before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and we can keep you up to date with gaming news. Now let's get started. So we are less than a week away from Valkyrie Elysium releasing, and recently it was revealed that the Collector's Edition would include a download code for Valkyrie Profile Lineth, which was the PSP remake of the original Valkyrie Profile. Well, if you've ordered that Collector's Edition, it looks like you may have to wait a little bit for Valkyrie Lineth. We have this official announcement from the Valkyrie Games Twitter account. It says, As we celebrate the upcoming launch of Valkyrie Elysium, we unfortunately need a bit more time for Valkyrie Profile Lineth to improve the quality of the title and have decided to move the release date to December 22, 2022. For those who have pre-ordered Valkyrie Elysium Digital Deluxe Edition from the PlayStation Store, you will now receive your copy of Valkyrie Profile Lineth on December 22nd, 2022. So while it's kind of disappointing to see this get delayed just a week out before it's supposed to be released, I think most people are okay waiting so that the game doesn't have any game-breaking bugs. Now, if you didn't pre-order this Deluxe Edition and you do want to play Valkyrie Profile Lineth, it will be sold separately, so you can pick that up when it comes out December 22nd. And if you've been wondering when we will see the first footage of the Mario Brothers movie, we have an announcement here from New York Comic Con. Join us October 6th at 4 p.m. Eastern for the teaser trailer premiere of Nintendo and Illumination's upcoming Super Mario Bros. film releasing April 7th, 2023. Now that'll be two weeks from yesterday and I imagine it'll drop online pretty quickly after it premieres here at New York Comic Con. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this trailer is received if you remember when the first Sonic movie came out, they had to scrap Sonic's design and start all over. So hopefully a lesson was learned there by other studios and they'll get this one right to begin with. And finally, let's take a look at the Famitsu cells coming out of Japan. Over on the software cells, no surprise here, we still have Splatoon 3 in the first place spot with over half a million sales. And just a reminder, these are just the physical sales. And then in the next three spots, we have the three different platform versions of Dragon Quest X Offline. We have the Switch version at number 2, the PS4 at number 3, and the PS5 at number 4. Then we have a couple of old favorites, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number 5, followed by Nintendo Switch Sports, and then we have the other new entry, which is Trinity Trigger, and more about that in just a minute, but rounding out the top 10, we have Minecraft, followed by Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and then finally Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, Trinity Trigger is an action RPG that was released this past week in Japan, and the worldwide release for this is set sometime early 2023. And Famitsu gave this game a 31 out of 40, which is a pretty decent rating. And now let's take a look at the hardware sales. Of course, the top three, we have the Switch family of systems, but then we have a shakeup here. We have the Xbox Series S coming in at number four. And just the Xbox Series S by itself outsold the PlayStation 5 and the PS5 Digital Editions, which came in in 5th and 6th place. But then the Xbox Series X was pretty low in sales, coming in at number 7. Now part of the reason why I find it interesting that the Xbox Series S outsold the PS5, and I know this isn't the first time this has happened, but this past week was when the price increase for the PS5 went into effect in Japan, and that was on September 15th, which is right in the middle of this week of sales data. So I guess you could say that Xbox outsold the PS5 in the first week after the PS5 price increase. 
Now, this could all just be supply issue related, and it most likely is, but it is something to keep an eye on, I think, for the next few weeks and coming months to see if we see maybe Microsoft ramp up supply in Japan to try to outpace the PS5 after that price increase. And that's all we have for today. Did anything we cover catch your attention? With all the games we have coming out over the next few months, is it a real big deal that Valkyrie Profile Lineth gets delayed until December? And were you surprised to see the Xbox Series S beat out the PlayStation 5 this week in Japan? And do you think that's something that will continue? Or do you think it's just probably mostly supply constraints related? Drop a comment about those topics or anything else we covered today. I want to thank you for watching, have a great weekend, and be good.